Hey there guys, in this video I want to show you what Goose Mod is and how you can install it on your Discord application. To put it very short and simply, Goose Mod is a modification for your Discord application which puts a store in your Discord app that allows you to import themes and plugins from its own user repositories. You can add your own repositories if you'd like to with even more themes and plugins and you can very easily uh, search for themes and plugins in these two stores by narrowing it down like so. You can sort by stars in alphabetical order or by last updated, and you can even narrow down by user or author. You can import your themes just like so, and you can go to your imported themes over here. You can turn on and off these themes or plugins just like that um, and that's how you remove them too and if you go to your plugins and you import a plugin with settings you'll find on the very bottom that we can check out the goose modules as they're called from here now we have our settings for goose mod here too we can reset we can back up and restore those backups uh, there's a lot going on here, so if there's something that you don't understand, chances are you don't want to turn it on or off. Goose Mod also works in tandem with your favorite, other favorite client uh, Discord application mods. Try to avoid saying client mods because Discord is not a client, after all. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what Goose Mod is. Uh, now I will show you how to install it. Now, despite being different from Better Discord or Powered Discord's method of installation, installing Goose Mod is still very simple to do. I will show you two methods, and I will link the install guide in the description. In fact, I would very heavily recommend you check out the install guide before following this visual representation, because things can change. Now, with that being said, I will leave some times codes too in the description, and there will be chapters. Um, so the first way I'm going to show you how to install is from the manual way. So first what you're going to want to do is find the config folder for Discord. Now on Linux it will be in the .config folder, on Windows it will be in the app data folder, and on macOS it will be in the application support folder. But after you find that, you will find a folder that says settings.json. So what we're going to do is open settings.json and we're going to take these two lines of text and we're going to copy them. And on the very top, we are just going to paste them. Now the other method is actually the recommended method that they give you. So to do this from the web installer, we're going to press install and we're going to select our specific Discord flavor. Now, since I'm using stable, I will be clicking on stable. I will be using the simple install method, and it will ask us to go to our same file that we just edited in the other one, the settings.json. So we're going to go to config, we are going to go to our Discord flavor, and we're going to open settings.json. After doing that, we're going to go back to that specific folder, and we're going to press save. Now it's going to ask us if we want to overwrite that file. We're just going to say yes. And after that, you will notice that this specific file is exactly the same as the settings.json file, but it added the goose mod update endpoints. All right, so if you have any problems, please comment down below. If it is a problem personally with the Goose Mod application, you can always issue an issue on the GitHub repository, which I will also be leaving in the description. Uh, with that being said, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.